Hi YouTube, this is under 200 pounds by 40, Valum 123, and today is my final update, the last day of my 30 day raw food detox. I've got to say I've really challenged and surprised myself because I didn't think that I'd be able to hack it this long, but I have, I did, I'm grateful, I'm thankful, and this, you know, tonight at midnight, It'll be the end of one phase and the beginning of another because this is not going to be the end of my journey. I still have a long way to go to get to under 200 pounds by 40. The detox was just the beginning, more of a vehicle to help me get closer to my goal. So I'm a lot closer than I was a couple of months ago, but again, I still have a long way to go. So when I stepped on the scale to weigh myself this morning, I had lost 8 pounds between last week and this week. Wow. And the only thing I did differently, I ate more fruit and cut out the sea salt, cut out the fat from avocados and olives. And I did a little bit of exercise. I didn't do a whole lot. But I think eating more fruit helped. But unfortunately, the side effect, as you can probably see, is more breaking out. And that just may be just another end result of eating more fruit or just the detox itself. I'm not sure. So I'm still dealing with that. But, you know, I'm just really happy at how far I've come. Because I just didn't think that I wouldn't be able to go without meat and cheese and all that other stuff for a month. But I have. And I've done it. And if I've done it, you can do it. So I... I'm going to insert my final way in right here. So that is a grand total from September 6, 2011 to today, October 6, 2011 of 23.2 pounds. I lost 23 pounds in a month. Wow. <laughs> I've never lost that much weight on any diet I've ever been on in one month's period of time. And this isn't even a diet. This to me is more of a lifestyle change. It's part of a lifestyle change. Now I still have to work out the kinks of what I'm really going to ultimately do, but I do know it's going to be at least vegan, raw vegan, and I might incorporate fish in there so that's not completely vegan, but I'm just going to not go back to the way I used to eat, obviously, because that's what got me here <laughs> in the first place. So I'm going to continue on and continue to be healthy, continue to work out. I'm going to continue making videos. I'm not going anywhere because, again, I have a long way to go until I'm under 200 pounds by 40. And I do intend to do another 30-day raw food detox. And I also intend to do a juice feast, which is basically a juice fast. But that's going to be probably next year. You know, I'll determine when I'm ready to do it. So I'm just so proud of myself. And I really, really, really encourage all of you on a weight loss journey who, who's just want to change, make a change, you can do it. it. It can be done. You need to have the mind ready. You need to focus on your goals and then you can do anything. Because I had to prep myself about a month before I started this detox because I would not have been ready in any other way. I just saw my goal. I kept my eye on the prize and I said, I'm going to do a detox. I'm going to do a detox. I'm going to do it in September. And that's how I got through it. Because as I was telling one of my friends over the phone, um, Labor Day weekend, I just went nuts. I mean, I ate whatever I wanted, all the junk, even got back into drinking soda after about a year of not drinking it. Because I just wanted to experience all the crap, I guess, before I went head first into the detox. And that's basically what I did. Uh, on the 5th of September, I ate junk, crap, it was just bad. And then I jumped head first, basically cold turkey into the detox. I would not recommend anybody to do that unless you're ready to do it because it, I don't know how I did, I did, well like, like I said, I prepared my mind so I think 
you know, by that point I was ready. But I would not recommend anyone to just jump into the raw food lifestyle or raw food detox as quickly as I did. Again, what works for me may not work for somebody else. Do what works for you. You know, that's my whole mission. That's part of my mission statement here. Do you do what works for you? You know, okay, the raw food may not work for you, but maybe you'll be a vegetarian. Well, I want to be a raw vegan. Okay, well, you do that. And she's going to be a pescatarian over here. And somebody's going to be a lacto-avo vet, you know, vegetarian. You know, there's so many routes to get to where you want to be as far as staying, getting and staying in good health. And my way is, and many other ways is not the only way. You just have to tailor it and choose what's right for you and keep going. Do something that's enjoyable, you know. And if you want to document it, do it on YouTube. It's another way to also help keep accountability and, you know, say, okay, these people are watching me. These people are watching me to see what I do, what I don't do, if I gain or lose or make a mistake or if I'm just tired and I don't care. You know, and people are going to judge. People are going to, okay, I, I, I'm throwing this word in there, but hate, you know, but it's, you, you got to let that bounce off of you. You know, you just got to leave that alone, let it bounce off of you and continue to do you, you know, continue to work through the struggles because I was struggling for a little bit there. I really was. And I just, you know, looked to my sisters on YouTube, you know, A.M. Anderson, 1979, um, Diva Slims Down and other people, I just look to them and it's like, you know, they're still doing it. You know, I gotta keep going. People are looking to see what I can do. And, you know, I think there were some people who thought I would genuinely fail. I don't know who you are, but <laughs> I'm just gonna put it out there because I'm pretty sure there were some people just like, what's she gonna do? And let me see you. She ain't gave up yet. Well, she might give up. I know that they're out there, you know, but that's them. And I'm just here to tell you, I'm here to speak and give my testimony that I did not fail. I did not give in. Day 30. Right now. You know, this is the end. And I will do it again. And I will do a juice fast. You know, you have to be steadfast and you have to make up in your mind what you're going to do. Because if that's not there, if you're not ready for it, then you will fail. You know, if you... um fail to plan then your plan will fail <laughs> and that is true i used to think that was such a corny crappy line but now i agree i agree wholeheartedly so i've talked a lot i've said a lot and now it's time for more action this was the biggest piece of action as part of my weight loss journey that i've ever done and i can do it again i will do it again but i had to jump over this first hurdle and now I have to go from here. And as I was telling my friend, you know, I feel like the holidays are, you know, kind of a snap. Because some people, they will go on a diet or they'll lose weight. And then the holidays come around and they'll lose it. And then they'll, you know, kind of go crazy. I feel like I have a little bit more. You know, I have a lot of self-control and a lot of willpower. And my whole mindset has changed over a month. You know, you don't get strong you know, by giving in all the time. You get strong by overcoming the challenges, overcoming the cravings, overcoming the feelings of fear and rejection and self-doubt and just wanting to give up. That's how you become strong. You see it through to the other side, you know, and that's what helped me these 30 days and seeing my progress too, you know. So with that, I say... Go for it. Go for your dreams, whether it be weight loss or, um, you know, something that you really want to do, something that you're passionate about. Just go and do it. And if you're scared, do it scared. I heard that from um, a Joyce Meyer show years and years ago. You can't fail before you try. And I got that from Hot Damn I Rock, um, Kane Carter. If you don't know who he is. Uh, yeah, you need to find out. I'm going to put his information below. So, this is where I am right now. 23.2 pounds lighter. And I'm ready to continue with the journey. I'm ready to continue with the challenge. Um, and I'm ready to eat some different food. I loved, loved, loved it. Don't get me wrong. But I'm ready to try some different raw foods. Again, I'm not going to dive 
you know, head first back into the way I ate. That just doesn't make any sense. So I'm just going to do what I need to do for me to continue my journey. And um, Saturday morning, I'm going to be walking with my friend. We're going to walk around the lake. Um, that's like 3.1 miles or so around. And I'm just going to keep it moving. You know, I'm going to do a segment called Weigh In Wednesdays, um, where I'll be weighing in like every Wednesday, every other Wednesday. Um, you all guys already seen my workouts. So I'll eventually um, get back into filming that and everything. And I'm just going to keep going. Again, I encourage all of you to keep going. Just don't give up. Even if you have a bad day, you know, just chalk it up to what it is and just keep moving forward. That's the only way you will succeed. So with that, um, I'm going to go ahead and end now. And I'm going to include some body shots. Now, the body shots, there's subtle changes. And because I'm seeing myself, maybe somebody else with a more objective eye can see more changes or not. But to me, I kind of sort of look the same, but I don't look the same. It's kind of hard to describe. But for those who, you know, are losing weight and you get from point A to point B and you look at yourself and you're like, mm, there doesn't seem to be much of a change, but... You know, you'll see it in the body shots. So I will be back. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you a million times. Times infinity to everyone who has just, just hung in there with me for the last 30 days. And for those who have subscribed and those who have been cheering me on, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I'm truly sincere when I say that. And I'm truly genuine. And I try to keep it more than 100 all the time. I really do. So, just stay tuned. More is coming. You know, I'm not going to stop even when I get under 200 pounds by 40 because I still have, you know, a little bit more to go after that. But I'm going to gonna just keep on going. So, um, just want to say good evening or good morning, wherever you are in the world while you're watching this. And peace be unto you.